Welcome to Around the House Northwest, presented by PGE and Oregon Kind of Energy. Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Around the House Northwest here on Fox 12 Plus. I'm Eric G. Coming up on today's show, we'll show you some great new products to help tackle those summer projects. Talk to the king of gardening, Joe Gardner, and I'll build some stairs for my deck. But first, let's head out to McMinnville to Skyline Homes. Now, it's time for Made in the Northwest. Today, we're gonna to take a look at how affordable housing is made at Skyline Homes. Let's go take a look. You know, I'm really excited today to be out here at Skyline Homes. Brent, thanks for having us out here, man. It's a pleasure, all mine. Truly, we're cool. honored to have you. So, we're building homes today. What's the first step? You gotta start with the frame and the chassis. So off this apartment, we've got jigs set up to bring in the I-beams, depending on what size the unit is. Mm -hmm. The welders will weld up the frame, put camera in it to carry the load of each of the sections. Yep. They'll put the axles, the tires on into the next phase back there. It gets a coat of paint. It's ready to hit the production line. Okay, this is not how I thought I'd envisioned it starting out because you got this great table here with everything on it. Absolutely. So this is the floor jig. Basically, after the unit uh, has been welded up and brought over, it's waiting to mate with the floor. Mm -hmm. So we've got our rim joist, our floor joist. We've got a continuous fiberglass duct system in there. Uh, we also do perimeter heat standard in our home, so you're seeing nice. the fiberglass boots going out to the perimeter. Uh, water lines, we use PEX water lines. Uh, Owens Corning fiberglass blanket. We like to use name brand stuff. What I love is that it goes the whole length, so this wood isn't getting in the way for that thermal break, so you have more insulation than you would typically have even in something that was site built because that insulation is going across the whole entire floor. Absolutely, thanks for noticing that, Eric. It's a big deal. Um, so basically the guys go ahead and finish the, the floor here and then it's going to wait to meet up with that frame we were just looking at in the frame department. All right, I see that we got some beautiful flooring down here. We do. So once they get the decking all sanded and everything's prepped, this is another part of that where we're building from the inside out. So we'll take the rolled goods and roll out all across the area that is going to require it. Yeah. It looks like this particular customer has wanted it throughout the whole thing. We get a lot more people today that are doing it in their bedrooms, yeah. uh, not just your utility room kitchen, dining room. Um, so we've laid all that out and this is ready. They're, they're finalizing everything down. We do a floating floor, so it's just stapled on the perimeter. Yeah. All the walls, cabinets, everything will go down on there. There's no seams. Oh, it's great that way. And in one, it's a great waterproofing for when you're living inside the house. Absolutely. You don't have to worry about all those issues that happen around bathtubs and things like that. So Absolutely. Easy on the maintenance. Yeah. All right, exterior walls filled with a lot of insulation. <laughs> Owens Corning, once again, we like to use name brand recognition. Yep. Uh, it looks like they're using R21 in this particular wall, so yep. more than likely it's an Energy Star house. Cool. We do lots of Energy Star certified homes here. Nice. Uh, we can see him gluing the studs, getting ready for sheetrock. That's great. All right, well, I see that's the easy route for loading drywall in. For sure. When you got a forklift and you can lift the whole unit to put inside the house, it makes it quite a bit easier. <laughs> uh, yeah, so basically what we've seen now is the jigs, they're putting sheetrock on one side of the wall, yep. and we're looking up here at another side of the wall that's exposed. Yeah. Um, as they put those partitions in, this gives the electricians, the plumbers, opportunity to run plumbing in a wall if it needs to be, electrical in those walls, switches, resets, etc. cetera. Um, the units are rocker for what we call the back panelers. So as we get farther down this line, we'll start to see after the plumbers and electricians are done, then the rocker's got to put rock back up to close up that wall. Absolutely. I wish we had smell vision because the wood smell in here is amazing. I, this is a great spot. <laughs> <laughs> I well, love these massive walls. Yeah, so most everything we do is a two by six exterior wall, yeah. 16 inches on center. So this is the next wall jig. So you're going to find exterior walls in this area, marriage line walls, uh, and end partition walls. Uh, once again, on a table, convenient to jig where they don't have to work in precarious positions very comfortable. Once they get the units complete, they're able to hoist those up and run them back out onto that production line. Man, that's great. And I see you already got drywall installed, huh? Yep. That's cool. <laughs> Ready to go. Ready to go. All right, we're starting to look like a house. Yeah, so coming off of that wall jig for those exterior walls and marriage line walls, we're out here now back on the floor where they've brought them out into position. Mm -hmm. They've placed them up on the unit. I like to point out all the extensive bracing that Man, goes on no too. Kid. I mean, if you're building this on site, there's a lot of strapping, but not this much. Not anywhere close. Units got to get from here to Tri-Cities or to yep. Northern California, wherever it needs to be. 
You can see the electrical in there, the insulation in there. They're getting close now to that back paneling we saw a little bit ago. Electricians and plumbers are in there working simultaneously. Yeah, you really start to see that coming together, and uh, that's where those big walls come in. You guys can make some progress pretty quick. As soon as that's set, you're rocking exactly, and rolling. Exactly, exactly. We're at a, a current production rate of about 12 floors a week. Wow. Uh, so six homes a week are coming out of this facility. Wow. All right, I see we're starting to put a roof together. Yeah, we are. Uh, one of the things that we utilize is uh, a continuous ridge beam. So you'll notice on the table over there, plywood that just runs forever. Yeah. It's the length of the unit. So from nice. hitch to tail, we're doing a continuous ridge beam that those trusses are going to be fastened up to. Man, that's super strong. It is super strong. It keeps the boxes, the integrity together as they transport. It makes it easier to set the units. Um, most often, the, really, where you need the ridge beam is only in an open span area. Yeah. So if you have a multi-section unit that's open from the A half to the B half, that's where that ridge beam needs to carry the load. Yeah. We just go ahead and build it from pitch to tail. And we do what's known as a double marriage line wall construction. And we'll see some of that as we get down the line. That's great. And as big as open concepts are for everybody out there, that really just gives you a lot of freedom, doesn't it? It's actually given us a lot of opportunity with that because we can go longer and span greater. All right, this is the easy button, man. I love this. <laughs> yeah, we, make, we try to make it as easy as we can for the workers. No kidding. So just coming off of that roof jig that we saw, yeah. after they get that, the trusses foam to it, the ridge beam to it, everything's ready. We hoist that up and we bring it into what's known as the mud pit. So you can see they can work on these ceiling seams right here without being on a ladder or scaffolding. Right. Or it takes so much yeah, time and absolutely. safety too. We're in a good time now too. So obviously they've gone and mudded every seam. And I like to point out the size of sheetrock we get. I was just going to say. Yeah. So because we're able to buy so much, we can kind of call out the sizes we need. Nice. So if we need, if you went to Home Depot to try to get a 13 and a half foot piece of sheetrock, you're not going to find it. Zero chance. That. Yeah, zero chance. <laughs> we want to avoid as many seams as we can. So sure. we're getting that sheetrock the length we need. Wow. We put that on there. So all you're seeing is factory to factory edges. So every bed, every four foot gets mudded. They'll cast the light across here so they can see that they've got it filled yep. in properly. And what he's doing right now is he's spraying a paint coat, a vapor barrier yep, that PVA on the lid. On there, yep, yep. That gives them another opportunity to look across those beds and make sure that that ceiling is nice. With your lights, the way they're set up in here, it's going to tell you one way or the other. You bet. All right, we went on the upstairs. I love it. I figured we'd give you guys a bird's eye view. So we're up on top of one of the scaffoldings looking down on the top of the roof yeah. uh, of that three section unit we were looking at below. This is getting prepped and ready. You can see electricals in there. You mm -hmm. got the venting. This is right before they get ready to blow the insulation in. Nice. So they're going to blow all that insulation and fill that roof cavity to the thickness they need to hit that R value that that customer has purchased or wants to have. That's great. Yeah. And uh, if, we, if we glance across, we can also see opportunity on the house in front of us. They're getting ready to add a dormer to that roof line. Oh, so that cool. unit's already been insulated. They've already decked it. You can see the plywood on top. Yep. He's getting ready to put those trusses up for that dormer. Man, so that just cruises right through. It. Get that yeah. thing up there. Yeah, it's it very, very convenient. The scaffolding is right here for the guys to be able to get up, walk right onto the roof. I mean, come on, how good is that? That is easy. Yeah, no ladders in this place, is there? <laughs> There's a few, but not here. Not many, yeah, <laughs> not many. This is looking beautiful, man. There's a lot of things happening all in one spot. We're getting to the end of it here. Uh, this this particular building, this is the last two stations. They're almost ready to paint this. Yep. So this particular unit, the customer's option to go with lap siding. So you can see the lap, the five-quarter trim material. I'd also like to point out up in the eave up here, you can see the perforated soffit material. That's so huge. All those little holes that are in there. Eric, you know about this. Man, air Roof flows. venting, cavity venting. We don't like to have lots of those roof vents up on top. So by perforating the entire eave system, it minimizes all that ugliness on top. All right, this is really coming together. I love the can lights. Yeah, four inch LED can lights are standard. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, five in the kitchen, four in the master, two in the additional bedrooms. Yeah. Um, looks like this particular plant either has a standard sliding glass door or the customers opted one in. Nice. Uh, That's a couple cool. different ways to go there. Uh, this is one of our most popular. Most of our series have standard dormers that don't do anything to the inside aesthetically. Sure. This particular one is known as a sky view dormer. So it gives you the trap windows, two windows below, breaks the aesthetics up inside. And it's a good look outside. If you've got a view, it's nice. Oh, yeah. One of the many we have. Yeah, that's All right, now we're getting into my history, cabinet land. This is a, I spent decades working with cabinets. So I probably don't need to say too much there. <laughs> um, I always like to point out some of our cabinets. Everything we do in-house is a real wood. Yeah. Uh, this is the hickory. 
beautiful, man. And what I like about it is that center panel. I mean, you can see that knot where it goes all the way through. Yeah. That's real wood. That's you either not love a, it or you hate it. Well, yeah. And that's, <laughs> I mean, they make axe handles out of this stuff, right? So, oh, I mean, yeah. that's why it's so durable. But I also love the painted blue. That is money right there. You know, that's another one of those love-hate relationships. Uh, painted cabinets have come crazy. Yeah. Uh, grays, blacks, blues, greens. greens they're yeah. all hot. Real trendy. Yeah, but that's a good look on a door. And, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, do something where you got like maybe white cabinets and a blue island or something like that. You nailed it. it. We do solid. a lot of that, Eric. There, there's actually quite a few of them that are mixed matching like that. Yeah. An island may be a separate color. Yeah. Um, all of our drawer guides, ball bearings, yep. um, soft closed drawers. Yep. You can do European hinges or standard soft closed doors. Um, no sense in nickel and diamond. We just keep it in standard. No, those are just the industry standards of a nice cabinet. Yeah, they are. All right, you know, when you see something mid-construction, it really kind of tells what's going on behind it. There's some beautiful stuff going on here. You got some great finishes. Yeah, you guys are getting a sneak peek. Uh, we're down and dirty right at it. So obviously, customers elected to do our Katopia kitchen. It's a specialty kitchen that comes with things, full height backsplash, stainless steel hood, stainless steel behind the range. Quartz counters, they've yeah. optioned in, they've, that's above and beyond. So we offer Corian, granite, mm -hmm. quartz, um, They've done that cabinet system you talked about just a little bit ago where they did blue below and white above. So we didn't it's almost like you out. knew what was going on. I don't know. Maybe shows your trendiness. Uh, we got a farm sink under mount That's with that killer. as well. More than likely they're going to have a big gooseneck faucet. Yeah, Somebody okay. that goes to this caliber is not afraid to spend a little money and have some options. Yeah. Um, it's beautiful. Even the window trim was upgraded. This is a Craftsman window trim, large one inch block above, five inch by the smaller three quarter and yeah. four inch below. Uh, stainless appliances throughout microwave in. This actually has glass hydraulic doors that go here. Oh, nice. And this particular unit also has a flat mount TV so you can watch those cooking shows while you're cooking. Oh, uh, there you go. That's money right there. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's a really, really beautiful kitchen. Obviously, it's a very gorgeous kitchen, man. Well done. Thank you very much. Uh, this is uh, one of a family of plans known as the Spectra. So basically, if uh, the chef of the family loves the kitchen, and everybody agrees on the bathroom, you've got multiple plans that set themselves apart from this. Basically the kitchen and the bathroom stay the same. Um, take a look at that a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate the time out here. We're, we're proud to show what we do. Thanks, it's great, it's beautiful, it's well built. How do people track you guys down? You know, we've got uh, dealers that range all over the place, but www.skylinehomes.com is where we're located. And Geographically, a consumer can find where they're looking to put the home, and that will align them with a de dealer that uh, serves our product in that area. Nice, man. Thanks yeah. for having us out here. Thanks for coming, Eric. I appreciate Great it. Great job. If you need affordable housing, here's an easy answer, and it's made right in the Northwest.